everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that was submitted by one of my subscribers, and it has to do with our departed loved ones. And I love talking about this because I have family members in spirit, most notably my mama and also my papa and my grandparents. I've got a lot of people in spirit, actually, and they show up in their own way. And once we actually open up to the interaction with our departed loved ones, the evidences, the communication really does grow. But it has to start somewhere, which is why I think this question is really, really great, because the evidence we're going to be discussing is the kind of thing that our departed loved ones do just to pique our interest, to get us asking the question, hey, is that them? But before we actually talk about that, I want to remind you that starting September 9th, 2019, we are having the 2019 Mediumship Intensive. Both myself and my BFF for Ilves, Trisha Carr, are going to be running a six-week intensive. Let me tell you something. Mediumship is not just for the Teresa Caputos of the world. We all have everything we need to make dynamic connection to the world of spirit, not just with our departed loved ones or the departed loved ones of others, but also with higher dimensional beings like light beings and also angels, and ascended masters, Christ consciousness, unity consciousness, heck, the I am, the higher self, and even source energy. All of that is mediumship. Mediumship is just about being connected in an evidential way to the entire world world of spirit. And if that interests you and you want to be a part of this program, please link in the description, go to the page, check out everything we're going to be teaching and sign up. We already have a great group of students. And one word about this, honestly, when you take a program like this that is already so alive, it's already so dynamic. I mean, just expect, my friends, for your abilities to get switched on and for things to start shifting and changing in your environment. But the cool thing is, is that you're experiencing this in a really supportive, tight knit family type community. As you're being turned on, as you are receiving evidences, as you're talking to dead people, so are so many other students. And everybody's holding space for one another. Everybody's congratulating you. Everybody's supporting you through the ups and through the downs. Six weeks is quite a bit of time to spend with like-minded, fully dedicated people. And let me tell you something, you're going to go there for the teaching which is going to be awesome, but you're going to actually leave the program with friends for life. Comment if you've been in any of these programs down below and tell these people how it is because you know these programs are so fantastic. Again, link in the description. Enough about that. Now let's get to this question. Again, when our departed loved ones are just trying to get our attention, they tend to do a few things. Vero C. writes and says, what is the meaning of finding dimes all the time and everywhere? This happens to me a lot. I save every dime I find. Such a good question. I actually particularly love it because I have a departed loved one who uses coins for me just to let me know that they're around me. Now, it's not a dime. It's a different coin. And let me just say that it doesn't have to be just dimes. It can be nickels. It can be pennies. It can be quarters. What you're looking for here, though, are coins that repeat nickel, 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 nickel. I'm always finding nickels, dimes, 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 dimes. How come so many dimes? If you're finding coins that repeat the same coins, that absolutely can be a departed loved one giving you a message. The message tends to be, hey, I'm with you hey, you're not alone. And in fact, when you pick up that dime and you touch it, I want you to know that your departed loved one who left that coin for you, who designed the universe around you so that you would see and find and pick up that coin, that departed loved one is standing right next to you. When you pick up that dime, you put it in your pocket. You putting it in your pocket is an affirmation really and a validation that I received that and that I know that I'm not alone and I know that my mother, father, sibling, friend, my family member in spirit is 
with me. Now, again, this is just one of the ways that our departed loved ones try to get our attention just to let us know that they're with us. There are many other ways. For example, some of our loved ones will send us birds like cardinals or hummingbirds, even dragonflies. Butterflies are also really common. Others will leave things like feathers, although feathers can also be angels. So you're going to want to check it out and see what it is. And still others will leave like messages in nature, in clouds, and all kinds of different things. Just be open to it. And always have that curious mind. When you find 10 times in a row, you've got to stop and ask the question, who's leaving this for me? What's going on here, spirit? I'm open. I don't really know what's happening, but I am open to receive the message. Never forget, when you ask that kind of question, you will receive an answer. That's a universal law. It's a universal principle. God, give me this answer. And God does. The reason we don't receive the answer is because we stop paying attention. All we do is have enough time to ask the question, but then we just go on about our lives and we never look for the dimes. We never look for the dragonflies. We never look for the messages. We don't pay attention to our dreams. We're not paying attention to our thoughts because spirit loves to deposit thoughts within our thoughts. They feel like our thoughts, but they're just a little more meaningful. But we're not paying attention. So what do we know? That's why we so often feel disconnected, but we don't have to feel that way. Not only are our departed loved ones with us right now, and we can talk to them and have access to them at any time. But also our emissaries, our guides, our ancestors, our soul groups, our friends in spirit, they're with us too. But even more, even better than that, God is with us at all times. God has his eye on the sparrow. Does that mean I'm fundamentalist Christian? No, it just means that there are eternal truths in all sacred books. And I believe source energy knows who I am. And source energy co-creates my experience with me. Yes, amen. Believe that. Know that because it's true. This is a magical world in which we live, Vero. And those dimes mean something. And so every time you find a dime, you say thank you. You acknowledge it. Now, Let me close by saying, you may be finding dimes, you may be seeing butterflies, but you might not know who is actually sending you these messages. Here again, just ask, just ask, and they will give you the answer. Now, when I ask a question of spirit like this, I start paying attention to all my clairs. Maybe I'll see something flash in my mind's eye, an image of my father or an image of my mother, or maybe just the word Dennis or Kathy. Maybe I will hear in my inner narratives, my inner thoughts, a name. Or maybe I'll just know, oh, that's my dad or that's my mom. Or maybe I'll feel something in my body which points me in the direction of who this person is. But also, please pay attention to the periphery of your life because spirit loves to operate there on the outskirts. Listen to conversations. Listen to what's coming through that podcast that you've got going on in your car. Or if you're watching television, do you recognize a name coming through? Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. Oh, I heard the name Dennis three times in the last three days. That's Dennis telling you, hey, I'm leaving those dimes for you. Dennis is my father's name. (laughs) So just pay attention. Ask, interact with the world of spirit. It's alive, and so are you, and it can be fun. It should be fun, and you should be curious. Thank you, Vero, for this excellent question. Thank you all for staying tuned. Please like, please share, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, please know that I got nothing but love for you. Okay? Join Trisha Carr and I for the 2019 Mediumship Intensive starting this September 9th. Students of the Intensive will learn how to open their intuitive perception and fearlessly navigate the beautiful world of spirit, communicate with departed loved ones, beings of light, angels, masters, and more. Mediumship is absolutely natural and it's for everyone. Check the link in the description of this video to learn more.